next grammar point is the usage of infinitive as verbal nouns and the absolutive. The infinity or the dictionary form of the verb that ends in na, such as bajana to play, khana to eat, sona to sleep, has two meanings. The first meaning is bajana as to play an instrument, and the second meaning is the noun that means playing. It is a noun. For example, sitar bajana mushkil hai. Playing the sitar is difficult. Here, bajana is a noun. Keep in mind that the verbal nouns such as bajana, khana, sona, and in a, and they behave like a masculine noun. That means they change in the oblique form. The a becomes a with the postposition. So bajana will become bajane with the postposition. For example, sitar bajane ke saath gana bhi sikho. Along with playing sitar, learn singing too. The ending na became ne before the postposition. So every verbal noun will take ne ending before a postposition. Just like ladka became ladke with the postposition, bajana becomes bajane with the postposition. Here are some examples. Khana to eat, khane ke baad after eating. So na became ne with the postposition. Sona to sleep, sone se pehle before sleeping. Padna to read, padne ke saath along with reading. Khelna to play, khelne ke liye for playing. Let's take some example sentences. Khane ke baad after eating. Sham ko khane ke baad jaldi nahi sona chahiye. One should not go to bed right away after eating in the evening. Khane ke baad after eating. Sone se pehle before sleeping. Sone se pehle dawai lena. Take your medicine before sleeping, before going to bed. Sone se pehle before sleeping. Khelne ke liye for playing. Khelne ke liye hamare paas football hai. We have a football to play for playing. Khelne ke liye for playing. Bolne ke saath along with speaking. Bolne ke saath sunna bhi zaruri hai. It is important to listen along with the speaking. Bolne ke saath along with speaking. Let's now take the absolutive. The absolutive expresses an action that takes place before the action of the main verb in a sentence. It is formed by adding the suffix kar to the root of the verb. For example, padna to read is a verb. The absolutive form is padkar. You add kar suffix to the root of the verb. The English translation will be after reading or having read. The verb ana has absolutive akar, after coming, after having come. From jana it is jakar, after going, having gone. The verb karna has the absolutive form karke, not karkar, after doing or having done. Let's take some example sentences. Wo chai peeker kaam par jata hai. He drinks tea and then goes to work. He goes to work after drinking tea. Main subah subah utt kar dorta hoon. I get up early in the morning and go running. Hindi speakers use the absolutive a lot in everyday conversation, so it is important to learn this form. There are some alternate forms people commonly use, but keep in mind they are not standard forms. Here is the table of the alternate forms. Instead of the suffix kar, many people use k or karke. So padkar is after reading, it is the standard form, but you might hear people saying padke or padkarke. The same way, instead of akar, after coming, it is ake or akarke. Instead of jakar, after going, jake or jakarke. You should always use the standard form. <laughs>